I am Lisa Rowan, Holistic Nutritionist, and I want to talk to you today about battling buffets. This time of year, there's a lot of socializing, and especially here in Singapore, buffets are very popular, and sometimes, unfortunately, they can jeopardize our intentions to be healthy or to lose weight. So just to give you a few pointers, that will hopefully help. The first thing to remember is that it's about socializing and spending time with family and friends. So perhaps focus on that a little more than dreading what's going to be laid out in front of you. The next thing is not to arrive famished because when we're so hungry, we tend to make rash and not so good decisions. And if you're attending a buffet at someone's house, then of course feel free to bring along a healthy dish and at least you know that you can enjoy that. When you get there, you know, relax again, socialize with friends, and when you're ready, head up and tackle the buffet. I suggest taking a walk around first without a plate so that you can see everything that is there. Sometimes there's so much in these buffets that we often see later on what we might like to have had and then end up eating more than we had planned. So take your time, have a look around and then visualize what a healthy plate might look like. Remember a quarter protein, a quarter of a complex carb and then about a half of your plate with steamed or roasted vegetables and some fruit. That is the perfect healthy plate. If you would like a starter or an appetizer beforehand, then by all means do. But try and keep it light and something that you wouldn't normally have, perhaps some sashimi or an unusual soup that you haven't tried before. And do save room for the main event, which is uh, your, your entree or your main meal. Best to avoid the bread basket, of course, or any nibbles beforehand so that you do save your appetite. Usually the spread of cakes and desserts at these buffets is pretty amazing. So to avoid trying so many of them, which sometimes taste similar after a while, what I suggest is that you name your treat and again go for something you wouldn't normally have. So take your time. Once you've had your entree or your main course, let it settle. And when you're ready, go up for the treat that you have named. If you can't trust yourself to come back with just that treat, then ask your partner or a friend to get it for you. The important thing overall is to enjoy all that you eat mindfully. We, you know, think about food, we love eating food, but sometimes we end up chewing it so fast that we don't take our time to enjoy and savor it. It takes about 20 minutes or so for us to register that we are getting full. So the slower that you take and the more time you enjoy your food, then you know, you're more in tune with how you feel. So put the fork down between every bite, keep engaging in conversation and uh, enjoy your food mindfully, as I say. The last thing to touch on is alcohol. Sometimes if we do have a, a tipple too many, it can obviously lead to overeating, which we want to avoid. So again, have in mind how many drinks you would like to have. Drink slowly, um, lots of water in between, or alternate with a glass of water. So I hope you find these few tips useful as you enjoy the wonderful buffets and spreads with family and friends. Wishing you a wonderful time over this uh, period of celebrating and uh, do keep in touch, Lisa Rohn at healthandvitality.com. Thank you.